In this series, you will learn how to create this employee database management system using Google Sheets. This Google Sheet is divided into four layers. This is the search layer where you can filter the records in various aspects. Here is the employee information panel where you can view the employee details. This is the employee list where you can choose the employee details you need to view. You can also add new employee record by clicking this link. Once you click this link, you will be redirected to your Google form where you can fill up the new employee details. For certain fields, we have set up validation list. Here you can upload the employee passport size photo. Post filling all the above details, you can click on the submit button. Immediately once you click the submit button, all the records will be saved to this Google Sheet. In this employee list, you can view 10 records at the time. Once you click on this view icon, that particular employee record will be visible in the employee info panel. This edit icon will be used to edit the particular employee record. The delete icon can be used to delete the record from the database. And this restore icon can be used to restore many remote records back to the database. To view the next and previous page, you can click on the next and previous button. You can also jump to any of the pages by just type the page number here. You can see once I click this view button, that particular employee record is being highlighted in green color and the employee details was updated in employee view panel. When I click this edit button, this employee details was been updated in edit record layer. Once I click this edit button, that particular employee is being shaded in red color with a strike out. Here you have an option to list out even remote records in the employee list. If this checkbox is unticked, you will not see the remote records. And when I click the restore button, immediately the particular record was out from the remote list. Whenever you make any changes in the filter option, instantly the employee list layer gets updated with the filtered records.
You can also filter the record by employee date of journey as well as with the employee birthday. And you can directly search any employee using this employee search option by just type the name or the employee ID. This data validation will filter the list as per the text which you type in. In the employee information panel, you can also move to next or previous employee record by clicking this next or previous button. Now in this case, we are into 180th record and when we click this next button, the employee list will also move to the next page instantly. And the last one is the edit record layer where you can edit the existing employee details. When you make any change in the employee record, it will be highlighted in red color until the edited record gets saved. You can also edit the employee photo by clicking this link which will redirect you to a google form where you can upload the new photo and you can notice the employee code is already filled using refill to google form technique. After making the changes, click on the save button to save the editor's record. Now the edited information got updated in employee information panel. You can also get back to the previous information until the edited record is not saved. In the employee information panel, you can view the basic details of each employee. In this complete series, we will learn step by step how to create this employee database management system using Google Sheet with the support of Google Form and Google Apps Script. By the end of this video, I can assure you that you will be thorough in designing a dashboard layout in Google Sheets, creating new Google Form and pre-filled Google Form, using data validation, 
conditional formattings, if logical, index match, and array functions, and advanced knowledge in using Google Apps Script to automate the repeated task. You can create a copy of this dashboard by just paying 99 Indian rupees. Please follow the link given in the description. Though I am anyway going to teach you the step by step process of creating this dashboard, I would suggest you to have a copy of this file for your reference and better understanding when you apply these techniques in your real time projects. If you feel this video useful for you, please share and subscribe to my channel.